nine months ago, the broadcasting industry and the Metro Detroit community overall lost a legend. Spex Howard is no longer with us, but his legacy lives on. Howard changed the landscape of morning radio as one of the nation's first morning teams in 1970. He created the Spex Howard School of Broadcast Arts in Southfield. A documentary about his life is now in the works, and it's produced by Lee Z LLC. Joining us now are Spec's daughter, Elisa Z, as well as Lee Group President and CEO, Mark. We had to discuss the project. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. So let's start off. Tell us about what you guys are doing in this project. We knew that we wanted to create something that shared not just stories about dad, but so many of the people he touched, thousands and thousands of broadcast careers. Just waiting here in the studio today, we ran into a couple of Specs Howard grads. Mm -hmm. And it's important to us to share the legacies of positive influences throughout the community. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, since you guys lost him, what has it been like to hear those stories and to really start to see how big that legacy was? Well, as we were saying before we went on the air, every time Mark calls me, he's going, how you doing, Z? And I go, I'm okay. But it makes me so proud because, you know, as his daughter, of course, I think he's the greatest thing ever. But to hear how many lives were changed, not just because people found careers in the business, people met their husbands and their wives and started families and created businesses and launched successful careers that make them happy forever and ever, that fills my heart. What's your favorite story about Spex Howard? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, after he retired, I had the opportunity of going over to uh, his house. At least invited me over. And he, he just regaled in so many stories. And uh, the best story, he, he has so many. I, I love the story of how he met his wife, your mother. your mother. And he would tell that story constantly. He just, I mean, Spex was a legend. Uh, his, his, his shadow is so long, his legacy is so huge, so many people have been impacted, and I think everybody that you run into can share some type of Spex Howard story. And tell us about the documentary. You guys are, are deep within the production process right now. What can we expect once it does come out? One, you are going to see and hear Spex Howard talking a lot. We were so blessed right before we started this a few years ago, yeah. and before the pandemic was in full swing, we were able to capture hours of footage of dad just answering questions, talking about the industry, talking about the business. We're also blessed in that we have Art Volo, who many people know as radio's best friend. Mm -hmm. He's volunteered to go around to different radio and TV stations and interview people. So we will be hearing testimonials. You'll hear that story Mark referenced about how dad and mom met on that fateful day in 1952. And you'll see a lot of people who over the years have really grown in the industry. Maybe see a few familiar faces here and there too. What do you want people to take away from this documentary when eventually it's released? You know, one of the things, we have legendary people in this city. And after you lose somebody, they become mythical figures. And I think it's important we continue to, to share the story to the next generation, the next generation. Hey, this man, he, he had an impact on so many people. I didn't go to Spex Howard. Right? But I've met some people, uh, so many people that have gone there. So we want people to know the true story of how he started, I think, in Pennsylvania. Yep. Is that right? Went to Cleveland, ended up in Sharon, Detroit. And he, he just made an impact. And people need to hear this story, not just our generation, but the next generation as well. Yeah. Well, Lisa, is there anything that you learned in this process that you didn't know before? I learned I don't like to be on television. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a radio girl. Yes, I learned that the lessons my father taught me continue to teach me. Even today on the way over here, I was on the phone with my mom and I was just thinking, I, I, I don't know if I can do this without crying, I don't know. Little things happen through the day that set me off, but I hear dad's voice and he says, you go and you do the best you can. can so that's what I'm going to do. Can I just briefly just share one quick story? At least and I had a conversation not too long ago. She was extremely close to her father and you know, she went through a challenging time. And I said, Lisa, let me just tell you one thing. As you struggle through this, this process of grieving, I want you to ask yourself one question. What would your dad tell you to do? And she said, he would tell me to move on, 
keep moving ahead. And I said, we're going to keep moving ahead because it's important to keep this legacy alive because that's what he will want you to do. And that's what we're doing. With a smile and a positive attitude. Yeah. Well, I think my favorite story is since we met and since you came on here in the break, you're telling us about how at the dinner table, at the breakfast table, your dad was such a radio guy. He oh, was yes. making sure you were enunciating, you were yes. announcing every single word and letter. Yes, I, I was telling them that we would get grounded if we did not pronounce W correctly. <laughs> Your dinner conversation was probably broadcast ready. <laughs> it was broadcast ready and we heard the funny stories when dad would mix up the words and say get your Neptune sar Neptune sardines at your A and Poo feed store <laughs> instead of Neptune sardines. I can't say it wrong, I can't say it right, but you know where I'm going. Yeah, lots of fun conversations and he was a family man above and beyond everything else as well. Well, we know this is going to be your first Father's Day without him. And yes. so sorry for your loss, but Thank what a beautiful you. way to honor him and to Thank you. continue to get to know him after death. Thank you. And I'm so grateful for the remarkable team with Mark S. Lee, Jim McFarlane, Mike Seltzer. I don't want to forget people, Don. I, we've got an amazing, amazing team. The original production that we had taken of Dad by the folks at Crimson, formerly more Crim Communications. And the entire community is really wrapping their arms around us, and I know Dad feels it. Well, thank you so much for being here, Elisa Z and Mark S. Lee. Thank you so much for being here. Best of luck with the documentary. Thank, thank you, you very much. Looking we appreciate, appreciate you. It.